What is going on everybody and welcome to the video. So today I figured I would sit down and I would bring you guys some awesome information that we got regarding Kingdom Hearts 3's DLC. Aside from the free DLC that we got in terms of critical mode, the new abilities, and just some other changes to the game, um, that's the free DLC. So aside from that, we are also going to be getting paid DLC, which was confirmed by Tetsuya Nomura shortly after the game's release. When it comes to the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert that happened in Tokyo recently, we did get some information from Nomura regarding what this DLC is going to contain. And by the way, guys, before I get into the video, I just want to say that all this information is coming from KH Insider, so I will link that in the description box if you guys want to go check out their website, and just this post in general if you want to see it for yourself. So now let's get into the video. So apparently Nomura himself, as always as he does when it comes to the Tokyo or just the Japan debut concerts in general, he did show up and he did have some exciting information for us regarding the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. Up on the screen here, I have all the things that were mentioned. Um, I'm sure there are a couple more things. Um, maybe some things were specified or um, you know something along those lines. But I will be trying to fit everything that I can find immediately right now without doing too much research. However, up on the screen, we have all this stuff, which says... The temporary title is called Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. Paid DLC includes additional scenario, Remind, limit episode and boss, secret episode and boss, English voiceover option for the Japanese version, free DLC, a new Keyblade and a form. The release date and price has yet to be decided. Various attendees have reported that Nomura confirmed more information which will be releasing during the rainy season in Japan, which could refer to the month of June. This coincides with the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert in Los Angeles on June 9th and E3 2019 in the following days. So, wow guys, that is a lot of stuff. Um, although we didn't get to see anything or we didn't get to really get any specifics, um, what this paid DLC is looking like is it's actually going to be a lot more than I guess a lot of us were expecting. I mean, obviously, what I was hoping when it comes to the DLC is we would get a more expansive, uh, I don't know, Twilight Town or a more expansive, uh, I don't know, maybe even just being able to visit Radiant Garden, something along those lines. But yeah, it does seem that this entire DLC is temporarily called Remind. It might be called something else. But perhaps this temporary name is just to give us a hint of what it might be about. Or maybe it's just, you know, the whole re-concept with Kingdom Hearts, you know, it happens a lot. But, um, okay, so first thing, we are going to be getting an additional scenario remind, which to me seems like we are going to be getting some sort of a, uh, sort of like a cutscene to sort of set up the base for what this DLC is going to entail. So next on the list, we have Limit Episode and Boss. Now that seems like a really weird uh, name for it. Again, this is a translation, so obviously it's not going to be accurate. But from what I did read on Twitter, I forgot who it was, I'm sorry. Um, it did. Someone did say that the Limit Episode is going to be something along the lines of like the Cavern of Remembrance when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, there will be secret bosses within there. Uh, there's going to be maybe just like boss hordes where like, you know, you go to one room, you fight another boss or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really cool. If that's the case, that's going to be awesome. Um, I did love the Cavern of Remembrance when it did come to Kingdom Hearts 2. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it as well as the data battles. Those are probably one of the most memorable things when it does come to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So next on the list, we do have the secret episode as well as a boss. Now... Here's the thing, this could really be anything. When it comes to secret episodes and everything, like I'm thinking more specifically about Birth by Sleep, the secret episode with Aqua basically just led right into 0.2. So going based off of that, you know, it came from the cutscene and everything that we saw at the end of the game. So what I can really see this being is the whole secret ending Yozora when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 3. I think that the secret episode as well as the secret boss is going to have something to do with Yozora, and it's going to have something to do with, you know, us basically carrying the narrative forward and just basically trying to figure out where Kingdom Hearts is going to go from here. Obviously, from my guessing, I think we are going to get some sort of a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross uh, mainline game, uh, something that ties, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, potentially the next Kingdom Hearts 4, if that's the, what they want to call it, I don't know. But I think that they do need to have something that ties them together. So having this secret episode leading from perhaps, I don't know, it could really lead from anywhere, but I'm thinking the best spot is picking up where Riku and Sora are, as well as Yozora and the Master of Masters. So that would be a really cool thing. It doesn't have to be super super long and it would be really awesome and probably give us a lot of insight as well as a lot of information as to Tetsuya Nomura's idea as to where he wants to go with the rest of Kingdom Hearts in the future. And the next thing on the list that we have is that there will be English voiceover options for the Japanese version of the game, obviously meaning that they can get the game English dubbed if they want. Um, cool. <laughs> But yes, okay, so the next up, we do have free DLC for everybody. If you do not want to purchase this, there will be a new Keyblade as well as a new form. Um, hopefully that's going to tie into something, you know, foreshadowing uh, 
you know, the future of the series, like I was saying before, when it comes to the secret episode as well as the boss, uh, Kingdom Hearts is really good at foreshadowing and doing all of those crazy things. So I am really excited to see what this secret episode and boss is and say, I don't know, if we got a new Keyblade plus the new form, uh, that sort of ties into that, you know, it's just going to be really awesome and really well executed, and I am actually so excited for it. And last but not least, it does seem that Nomura has confirmed that we will be getting more information on the DLC in the month of June. Now, there are two possible things, according to this article, that do fall within the month of June. We do have, of course, the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert coming back to LA on June 9th, which is right before E3. And then, of course, as I just said, we do have E3 um, following just shortly after. It's actually really funny because I made a video talking about the um, the Square Enix showcase that they're going to be doing at E3 this year. Um, I discussed basically just what are some things that I might look forward to seeing. Um, I did touch on the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC because I didn't think it was a sure thing. Uh, you know, we weren't hearing much about it. You know, they just released Critical Mode. I wasn't sure how quickly they wanted to pump out the rest of the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. However, you know, this seems that, look, we could be seeing this at the Square Enix showcase. Um, I made a video about that. If you guys want to go check it out where I talk about all the information about what I think we could see and all that stuff um then yeah go ahead and do that i'll link that in the description as well but yeah this is sick it just gives us another thing to look forward to when it comes to e3 you know i thought hey final fantasy 7 remake is almost a sure bet but it does seem that we will potentially be getting kingdom hearts 3 dlc news there as well so Nomura also said that he does not know how much it's going to cost. They haven't worked out a price yet. Um, for me personally, if I had to take a guess what I'd be comfortable paying for, I mean, if I had to buy the game again for all this content, I would. I mean, we've been doing this for years because, you know, we're Kingdom Hearts fans, uh, remixes. <laughs> but I do think that uh, a reasonable price, um, I could see this being around like $20-ish, like, you know, $25, $24.99, uh, something along those lines. A little, anything more than that might just be pushing it just a little bit for me. But again, I'll pay as much as I need to in order to get this content because uh duh i'm a huge fan so uh like i said i will pay as much as i need to but i think a fair like reasonable price is between 20 and 24.99 you know something along those lines However, guys, though, until we get more information, or at least until E3, um, this is all that we have in terms of the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC, the paid DLC that we could look forward to. Uh, Critical Mode, I have tried it just a little bit. I do want to try streaming it because I was like, hey, you know what, maybe I'll just make a Let's Play of it. Um, I do want to stream, but then, you know, aside from that, um, I am having fun with Critical Mode. It is a lot of fun. It's really cool. Um, I think it's sort of just a little bit of a taste as to what we're going to get when it comes to the real DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. I am super excited. I hope you guys are, too. Please let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know what you... Uh, what you're looking forward to, I mean, again, I mean, it seems like, you know, this is very vague, so it could mean, you know, this, this, and that. I mean, we could be looking at a bunch of different things for this DLC. So let me know what you're looking forward to. What do you want the most? Uh, let me know how much you're willing to pay for it, because, again, I don't know if $20, $25 is too much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, so let me know all that down below, guys. Uh, don't forget to like the video, most importantly, subscribe to my channel for more Kingdom Hearts 3 content. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.